Hello friends, this is Scott, and it's time to break out my two earth boxes that I've had for you know probably 20 years or more. I received them as a present from my uh, uncle, who's now moved on over the Rainbow Bridge. But I always remember him when I, when I plant in these planters. Now, container gardening is not organic many times. It's so hard to try to keep enough nutritional value in, in these little planters when you're watering as much as you, you need to to keep them alive. These are very unique planters, though. They work very, very well. So I always plant my peppers in these because it gives me plenty of fertilizer, which I am using here, the 16, 16, 16. So again, not organic. And I need some bungee cords, I need some garbage bags, a trowel, a knife, and Mr. Lincoln, along with the soil and the earth boxes. So we're going to get started and uh, get these filled up. My peppers always do wonderfully in these in these bins, so I always plant most of my peppers uh, in my earth boxes. Okay, we're going to be planting green bell peppers, yellow peppers. Looks like some cayenne. I've got a couple of cayenne. A red bell, a poblano ancho, a couple of habaneros. You got to have jalapenos. I've got a few of those, like four. And I've got a sweet something here, sweet savanna pepper, and then a couple of green peppers, a couple of Thai chilies, and then here is my Ali Amarillo pepper. I'm just going to plant one in the earth boxes. It's the biggest one. I've got some other ones I'm going to plant elsewhere. Basic components of the earth box is the box itself, a little riser that you put in the bottom. You have a screen that you put on top, and you have a water tube. Very simple. Now the riser is to keep the dirt out of the water reservoir, and you'll see a little uh, hole in the sides down low. Here's a look inside. You see the screen sitting on the riser with the fill tube for these two bins. And then if you look down below, I don't know if I'm going to get a good shot at it right here, there's a drain hole. So you can't overwater these. Uh, they'll just drain out. You see the drain hole there. So I'm going to use some basic potting mix. Don't ever use garden soil. Uh, it's too dense and it'll just turn into a brick. So you got to use potting mix. It's nice and loose, mostly made out of peat moss, vermiculite, other types of uh, items. And uh, there's always fertility in these, um, but we'll be adding additional fertility. And I'll show you that here in a minute. But I'm just going to fill these up. And uh, it usually takes about a bag, bag and a quarter of these smaller bags to fill up one of these earth boxes. While I'm filling these, I'll talk a little bit about why I use earth boxes. Um, peppers love sun. They love nutrition. They love being moist. So it's the best growing medium there are for these, along with the added fertility. You know, anytime I put peppers in the ground, I always get peppers, but they're never as good as I, they are when I put them in these earth boxes. So I think that the whole design, and, and I'll show you how I, I add that more fertility here in a minute, really adds a lot to these plants in there and it feeds them very well over time and that's what plants need these again we talked about water water washes away nutrients and uh, the way these bins are designed with some added fertility on top it'll leach in the soil over time and keep the plants uh, fertilized and uh, always end up with a great harvest so after filling these bins with soil it's time for putting some fertilizer in a band on top. And I usually use two or three handfuls of fertilizer. I could be more scientific and say how many cups and blah, blah, blah. But now I just grab it and just by eyeballing it, I want to put the strip right down the middle because I'm going to be planting the plants on the sides. And I don't want to be planting plants right into fertilizer. So this fertilizer is just a nice little band on top. And as the soil gets moist, it'll, it'll leach the uh, nutrients into the soil over time. Now here's my bungee cord, the purpose for that. Now you're gonna see a fail here. As I put the bungee around, it just slips to the bottom. So, oops, gotta redo that. So anyway, this just holds the plastic on a little bit better when the wind's blowing. Uh, the weight of the bin will, will hold it in place, but I just throw a couple bungees on it just to hold the material. And then I take a cutter and I just cut little slits. So I'm gonna put eight plants in each one of these, uh, four on each side. And I'm just making a slit so that I can pull the plastic apart and then I can uh, plant the plants. Now this, these bins originally came with uh, some black covers. They had a black on one side, white on the other. It would just fit over the top and kind of had a little bit of a, it just scrunched on top. It held itself in place, but those wore out many years ago. So I just use garbage bags. I could use white or I could use black. Again, white will reflect light and black absorbs light. So 
you know, you could use either one, but I, as much sun as we get, as hot as it gets in the summer in Utah, I want to reflect a little bit versus just bake the plants. So as you see here, I'm just uh, grabbing a variety. I'm just mixing them up and I don't want to leave the tags in. I don't, I'll figure them out. When I see what the, what the pepper is, I'll know what it is. I don't need to leave a plant tag in. But they're as simple as just scooping out a little bit of a hole in the potting mix and then just shoving the plant right down in it. Very simple, very easy process. Um, the bungees also help the plastic because when the plants are small, sometimes the plastic will, you know, the width of the wind, as you see here, will blow and it'll cover up the, the peppers. So I've got to make sure that the peppers uh, are not getting covered up by the plastic and the bungee does help with that too. But I always, you know, go around and I'll put little rocks or, or other items of, with a little bit of weight just to make sure that the peppers are not going to end up underneath plastic and, and uh, get baked. So... So again, I've grown a lot of different peppers and they all do wonderfully in these, in these bins. Um, sometimes I plant eggplant also, or other plants. Uh, eggplant does really well here also, but I, this year I'll just plant eggplant in the ground and, and I'm gonna do all peppers here. And I have extra peppers. I have extra of the Ali Amarillo, which are the, the Peruvian peppers that I've done a video on that I grew from inside the house. And uh, I've got some of those that I'm gonna plant elsewhere in the garden too. I'm just going to plant one in the bin just to, as a test case because the weather's supposed to be changing and I don't want, you know, they may kill some of these plants. So we got to see how the weather's going to be in the next little while. It's still snowing in the mountains and we're going to get rain here in the valleys, it looks like. So maybe down in the 50s. Should be fine. But uh, these bins, the plants usually take off really well and look healthy right away. So we'll check on the progress at the end of this video uh, a day or two later and, and see how they're doing and how, they've, uh, how the transplant uh, shock went or... If there wasn't any. Inevitably you're going to lose a plant or two or three when you're planting. Uh, sometimes the plants look totally healthy, planting seemed to go perfect, and you come out the next day and they, they didn't do well. Here's the Ali Amarillo. And the one I, I planted inside the house. I've got probably eight of 30 plants or so that I started planting. They didn't do really well inside. I didn't have the proper grow lights, but this one did really well and the roots are, are pretty established more. It's going to be a little floppy to start with until it gets its roots uh, firmly in the soil. I'll stake it up a little bit and put a couple zip ties around it just loosely just to kind of help it. But uh, I think it'll do well in this bin and we'll see. You know, I'm looking very forward to, to growing these peppers. I'm going to save the seed and I think over time as it acclimates and uh, if I keep saving seed I'll have a superior seed for our climate uh, over maybe three or four years. We'll see. For the cigarette to water in this you just fill these tubes as you see i spray myself in the face because there's some dirt down in the tube so i gotta raise it up a little bit and kind of wash it out as so i was putting the the trash bags on i think the soil got a little bit mixed down in into the where the water well is or the water reservoir but not a big deal i'll just fill it up and then you see i ripped a little hole in the side uh, toward the bottom in the middle where you where there's a, the drain hole and mr lincoln's coming to see if you might be a little thirsty too so I'll fill this out a couple times because this is dry mix. And as you see, the water is starting to drip out. When you know the water drips out, you're good. But this mix was totally dry, so I'm going to water it on top just a little bit, and then I will come back through. Here's another problem. I've got a, this one is a little bit more dirt in the tube, it looks like. But I'll come back and let this soak in really well and then come back and refill them again. But here they go. They look a little floppy. Uh, the weather's changing, so hopefully they get established and they do okay. If they don't, then I'll just go to the nursery and get some more and, and bring them back. But they look a little bit worse for wear when you first plant them, but uh, we'll see how they do here shortly. Here's a couple hours later, and the plants look like they're rebounding pretty well. I think we're going to have uh, pretty good success with these plants. The Ali Amarillo is still flopped down, so that one I may have to stake up a little bit more, but we will uh, just give it some time and, and I'll check on it uh, tomorrow and see how things are going. But so far, within a couple hours of planting, they look like they're doing pretty good. So I'm happy with, with that progress. Here's a couple days later, and the plants are looking great. Even the Ali Amarillo is standing up pretty well. It's got a little, I've got the zip ties on it just to kind of help it, but everything looks good. The cold weather didn't affect it much, and they all look like they're well established. I didn't lose a single plant. So uh, excited about that, and uh, hopefully the weather <laughs> starts getting better, remains better. So, so here it is, planting in earth boxes. Again, not organic, but it, for me, it's the best way that I get the best peppers possible. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Not to jinx myself, but I got some big news coming up that's going to change the direction of this channel, and it's very exciting news. So, thanks for watching. I'll be sharing with you this big change here in the very near future in the future videos. So, stay tuned.